Jackson Galaxy. I am Cap Hegerist. I am the host of My Cap Hill on Animal Planet and the author of Cat Daddy. The best way to talk to your cat is up to your cat. They will tell you what range they appreciate. In order to get them to trust you, you hands off, you never go hands near, you don't even look at them, you introduce yourself by voice. I would never come to them with my Barry White on like I'm doing right now. What I would do is start up high and come down softly like this and by experimenting in that range I'll find that sweet spot. That's your job as a cat guardian is to find out where your cat's sweet spot is and talk to them accordingly. Cats have a much more sensitive hearing range than we do. Really where our perception ends, theirs is really beginning in terms of the high sound. So really screeching sounds, high screeching sounds, uh, traffic, you know, uh, the clanking of garbage cans, you know, that kind of sound babies screaming, uh, things like that. That is in the anti-sweet spot of a cat. Uh, and, and those I've, I've almost always seen cats sort of puff up around. If you thought about on your worst day, you're totally over-caffeinated, over-tired, and you're just sort of jangly, and, and all of a sudden someone drops a silver tray in the next room and you feel like jumping out of your clothes, that's exactly what cats are like all the time. They're programmed to be uh, on edge, I guess, as a prey animal, you know, and so they always have to be on guard. And when something just just kills the space sonically, they're going to react. There have been a lot of studies around uh, the kind of music that cats like or dislike, and it is all over the spectrum. Uh, there are some studies that say no electronic music, that they love electronic music, which if you think about it, that constant four on the floor is not exactly conducive to anything. There are other studies that show that actually things like Brahms, Debussy, uh, Vivaldi, lighter range sounds cats respond to. I have found again that you could put classical music on in a cattery and half of them will be like this and half of them will be soothed. There's no way of saying what kind of music a cat will like. And I think it's disrespectful to the cat. These studies are disrespectful. Just like they would say, human beings like, you know, Bachman Turner Overdrive. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way of saying that, that we will like the same thing. And same thing goes with a cat's experience. I think that, that there is that concept of sonic guilt, that we're leaving the home. We don't want to leave it silent because we, we, we feel bad we're leaving our cats and we put something on instead. Where in reality, I think a cat's going to be much more intrigued by the natural sounds outside, the music of birds and traffic and people and voices, and that's what they're going to want to be drawn to instead of drowning that world out. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.